James here from DragonBlogger.com. Today with a little walkthrough of uh, literally how to install and use the Red Dragon software for the Vampire Elite wireless gaming mouse. Now I want you to be, know that there's two different softwares because there's a wired version of this mouse and there's a wireless. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to set the box aside. First you want to go and grab the USB dongle for the mouse. You're going to want to plug this USB dongle into your USB port, any port that you plan on leaving it in and using it. Then you grab your mouse, which is right here on the back. We're going to switch it on. As you guys see, we're now live. We're now on. We're not going to go over here. We're going to pull up like Google Chrome or, fucking, or Firefox. And we are then going to type in Red Dragon Search. As you can see, you can go straight to the download page. But I'm going to show you guys this. Pop onto the regular page. Right here is where you will find the download and support. Hopefully you guys can see that. Then we're going to go over and it's going to give you the options, you know, combo, mouse pad, headset, gaming cases, and stuff like that. We're going to click mouse. This is where you'll find your softwares from like the Hydra, the InSpirit, you know, um, and all the other ones like the Daggers, the Griffins. Um, we've We've reviewed a f quite a few of these, so you guys will should be a little used to the, some of these. Now down here, like I said, there are two two of these softwares. You have the one that says Red Dragon M720 Vampire RGB Gaming Mouse, which is the wire version. You'll see the little wired right here where the mouse is pointing. That's not the one we want for this one. We want to go over to the Red Dragon M686 Wired slash Wireless Gaming Mouse. This is where we are going to ins download the software. That should pop up and click download. Uh, down here, this will pop up. We're going to click open. Then we're going to double click this to run. We're going to close all these screens because we don't really need them. We are going to go English. You guys can change any language you want. Uh, click next once it's on. It says, Welcome to the Red Dragon M686 RGB Gaming Mouse Setup. We're going to click next. It finds the folder that we want. Click next. This is where you can change the name if you want to change the name. I'm going to leave it. This is where you will get to select additional tasks like run on system startup. I am not going to do that. I do not want the software to start up when I'm trying to boot up my computer. Now we're going to click finish. That is how we get in here. Now that we're in here, you guys will see it says in the main section. Up here is where you'll be able to change between two languages. I'm not sure what the other one is, so we're going to stay on English. Now, down here, if you have an import file, export file, so if you want to click import file, there's a file you have set from somewhere else. This is where you'll import it or export it. If you need support, click support. This will tell you Red Dragon is all rights reserved, driver version 3.1. Then it goes home page. If you really need it, click the home page. This will pop it up and it brings you to their site. We don't need that right here. It says key settings. I'm going to move this over so you guys, I can make sure you guys see this. You have key setting one, which is left mouse click. Number two is right mouse click. Three is the scroll wheel. Four is the left first button. Five is the middle left button. Six is the back left button. Seven is the DPI switches right be underneath the scroll wheel. And 8 is DPI minus. You know, you click back through these. This says shift. If you guys want to change this uh, number 6 to something else, you can definitely make it forward, backwards, 3 click, RGB on and off. We'll do that RGB on and off for number 6. We'll click apply, uh, apply for that. Now that you see this, this is number 6. I'm going to click it. I should shut the RGB off on the mouse. Click it again. It is back on. Now, since I don't remember what that was, we're just going to click Restore, bring it back. Now, if you want USB pulling rate, you can change that to Hertz. The Hertz up and down if you want 500 Hertz, 1000 Hertz. Battery. This tells you we're at 80% battery, which is not bad since it came full charged. I'm going to click Restore. Now, we're going to go down to Advanced. This is where you can change up the DPI settings if you want your red DPI which is if you guys watch this up and down button, it'll change colors. It'll say DPI 2000 is blue, D 
DPI 4000 is green, DPI 5000 yellow, and then we have orange. The mouse sits there and, and changes reflections. Um, if we change this, we can make it actually a steady color. Um, we'll do that and we'll click apply. Now you see it's a steady scroll wheel color. Change it back down, down, green, blue, red, which is pretty cool. You can change it uh, to any DPI you really want. Mouse sensitivity, you know, you have mouse sensitivity on here. I'm not going to mess with mouse sensitivity. Uh, scrolling speed, I go faster scrolling speed, but I'm going to leave it alone for now just to see how it works. And then we might change that. Double click speed, if you want the double click speed faster, you know, do, do what you got to do. Lighting, this is where we're going to go into the lighting, you know, LED effects, it's the brightness. And speed we can adjust the speed up we'll hit apply and you guys will see that now it's just flashing really quick hopefully you guys can see this uh, we'll click restore you have a streaming color we can change it steady and apply let's change it to a single color you can change it to any color you really really interested in you know, like this there you go yeah you want to peek Buy pink. There you go. There's a pink color. See, it's a little more purple, lavender color, but that's how you change that color. You go back to red for that. Click restore. Just click restore. Now, uh, respiration. We'll change this. And you guys will see that it's going to sit here and flash. We can change the speed up really fast or really slow. Or streaming. Um, streaming colors just, you know, just changing through the patterns. So you can change a few colors. You don't get a lot of choices to change this, unfortunately. And it doesn't let you set it. So that is all you get. Now I'm going to do a macro, a quick macro, guys, but uh, macros aren't my thing. You can do a macro if you want a new macro. Let's just say we wanted to do a walk sequence on a game. Um, side, you know, walk sideways. Just do that. We're going to click record. And then we'll hit A, 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 and then stop record and save. Now we go back into the main part. Let's click middle, let's click four, which is the top front left. You click down here, click macro, click that, walk sideways. Now every time you hit this button in a game or anywhere, it's going to go left, 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 you, get, you know. If that's what you're walking with. Now, if you're riding, it's going to click A, 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 which is understandable. We're going to click restore. That's just a quick macro. Um, we want to delete that. We can delete that just like this. Let's do a new macro, you know, front to back. Save. Start record. So W and S is frontwards. The S is back. So we're going to go front, front front and then click s back one we're gonna stop record we're gonna save and just change it same way same stuff we'll delete that again let's do another macro um you know let's do control uh shift a you know we can do a shift a if that's what you really want let's record Shift A. There's your Shift A real quick like. And then save. After you click stop. And save. That is all macro is. You guys, if you guys play a lot of games, you'll be able to adjust those macros a lot quicker, a lot faster, a lot better to what you're doing. But it's pretty simple. And then all you got to do is go into your main here. Click the button you want that macro set to. So if you want it like a fire rate or if you want it like a quick shot, or double gunshot, you just do that, change it, and then set up, click macro, click the macro that you set, and change it in there. 
There is multimedia, so you can change it to several multimedias like computers, www.fords, and stuff like that. All pretty good, all pretty quick cool stuff. So that is just a quick walkthrough of the Red Dragon software for the Vampire Elite. And I thank you guys for checking this video out. And keep your eyes out for more on dragonblogger.com to come. And have a great day.